Organization can be hard for many people. Whether the season is changing and is putting you in the funk, you have a busy schedule, with a laundry list of things to do, endless chores, or just prioritizing things that matter more. But let's be real, many of us just get lazy, so... Okay, I just need to stop being lazy and get off my butt. So let's get this over with. My closet is not as glamorous as some people, but we make do with what we have. So I share half my closet with my husband, the loving wife that I am. My husband's side of the closet is a lot bigger than mine, only because he has tons of dress shirts and dress pants that he needs for work. I have this five-year-old dresser in which I keep like my t-shirts, my tank tops, denim, skirts. And then I also have this standing chest dresser in which I keep like my loungewear, including my sweats. And it's very scary because I am in some ways organized but truthfully sometimes I don't have time to do the laundry or fold the laundry so I just throw things in so my wardrobe end up looking like this I do want to show you that people who does these organizational videos we're not perfect and the reason why I didn't clean this up because I wanted to show you how I actually am and for the most part I am pretty organized but we all have days where we can't keep up with our chores, but occasionally I do go through and fix things up. I'm just gonna close this and reorganize it later when I get to the four items. The first thing I like to do before taking out all my four pieces, because this could take a day or two, weeks, months, etc. So I don't want to have clutter around the house. So I'm gonna take it step by step just in case something happens and I can't get to it and I don't want a big mess. What I'm gonna do is take out all the summer pieces and also transitional pieces that I know won't work for fall. So those will be packed away for summer and spring transitional season. Organization can be very overwhelming, including myself. So here's one tip I like to do is turn on the TV or put on some music to get you into that zone. While I go through everything, I also like to edit at the same time. And so I put them into five piles. My first pile is going to be pieces that are damaged. So that's going to include pieces that are stained, gritty stains that can't come off. Like we get a lot of the armpit stain, has holes, or are just irreparable. I always have a pile for donations and that will include pieces that are in still good condition, but it could be pieces that just doesn't fit you anymore or it's outdated. And when I mean outdated, it could be the cut of the silhouette that just won't ever make a comeback. I have a save pile because those are pieces I want to keep. Pieces that has memories attached to it. It could have been a gift. It could also be pieces that just are very well made and I paid a lot of money. If you do to have this pile, make sure you sort of revisit this every year. I also have a pile of items that needs to be washed or sent to the cleaners. And when those pieces come back, I put them into storage right away. My last pile are my summer pieces and transitional pieces that worked for spring and won't work for fall. These are really great transitional pieces because I love the browns and the yellows. The cold weather has not really set in and the temperature is still up and down. And sometimes I'm very late with my seasonal closet organization. So I just keep these in year round because these are really great for the spring transitional season as well. So I do like to keep pieces like camisoles, tank tops, slip dresses, because you could always wear them as layers. And who knows, you might have an occasion or event to go to. And they also don't take a lot of space. I also like to keep these pieces out because it saves me time from having to unpack, iron, or steam the garments. Now that I pulled out all the pieces I know I'm gonna put into piles, there's definitely no turning back now. My technique is to throw everything onto the bed because I do want to make sure I go through all the pieces and making sure that I will either wear them or I put them into my categories. I'm gonna go ahead and organize the pieces that are staying in the closet. Let's turn on some music because this is gonna take a while. So all the tank tops, the button up shirts will stay together and the dresses and so on. Let 
my closet, the way it's structured, it's harder for me to reach things that are on my left hand side. So I like to keep the trousers hanging closer to the right because it's within reach. And because I don't wear dresses often during the cold weather season, I'll keep them more to the left. All right, so I'm pretty much done editing the wardrobe part of the closet. And so I think I did it pretty good for two hours worth of work. So I don't have any items that are stained, but I do have a pile for donation. This is a pile of save items. I'm pretty much saving all of my skinny jeans. And then I have this one top where it's this lying bedazzle top that I do want to save just because this is a trend item and I feel this might circle back in a few years and I'll revisit it every year to make sure I do still want to keep it. These are pretty much all the spring and transitional clothes that I am storing away. And so now I'm gonna pack these up into plastic garbage bags and put them into bin storage. Because I store these downstairs in my basement, I do categorize them by dresses, shirts, tops, so that when I do go on vacation, they're easier to find. That was a lot. Okay, let's organize the full items. Some of these are pieces that I saved because I just wasn't ready to let go of them. So I am going through them again to make sure I do want to keep saving it or if I want to donate it. Some of the pieces I am definitely going to keep this year are pieces like sparkly turtleneck knit that I know I have and maybe some, maybe some more feminine shirts this year. Definitely button downs and more classic suiting kind of style. Those pieces I am going to look out for here. So let's see what I get through. So I emptied out the first bag and what I'm gonna do is so that I don't get overwhelmed is I'm gonna go one bag at a time and look through to see what's going back, what's gonna be donated, what's gonna be saved, what's gonna go back into my wardrobe and so on. I think this is a good way to do it so that if I don't get through everything today, I won't have a big mess that I've created and so I can always come back to it tomorrow. This is the gun that I was looking for, so so glad I saved it because this would be really great for the season. The pieces that I brought up from storage is pretty much done. These are the items that are going back downstairs in storage. This is going in the dumpster because it's completely destroyed. This is the pile that I am donating. I do still have to go through the other wardrobe. The pieces in there I do usually wear pretty much all year round. They're mainly neutral colors and basics. So I just need to fold them and organize it in a neat way. Now that everything's done, let's go downstairs and I'll show you my capsule wardrobe. So I definitely have a lot of neutral colors from black to olive green and more of your beige and whites and blacks. But the main colors I've loved this season is, you know, like this pinkish red. I don't have a true red, but this came pretty close to it. And I also love this lavender here. This is a wrap sweater that I think would look really cute with a lot of like skirts and leather pants. I also like this muted icy blue color dress. I also pulled out a lot of uh, leather pieces. I also have leather skirts, some leather pants, and I also have some mini skirts. I love mini skirts for the winter. Even though it's cold, you can put a long overcoat over it. And I love pleated skirts for the season. I think they're really great. Turtleneck knit dress is really great. One big cozy wrap cardigan and also a uh, mohair cardigan. These are some of my go-to pieces for this fall that I know are simple styles I can grab and will go with pretty much anything else in my wardrobe. Having a capsule wardrobe embraces the minimalist lifestyle, reduced clutter, 
Managing a number of go-to options eliminates the stress of deciding what to wear when getting dressed. I hope you found this video helpful and if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.